Abbey Mills Pumping Station is based out in Stratford in East London and it's where the Tideway Tunnel meets the existing Thameswater Lee Tunnel. Using the SBMT gantry to put the cover slab on in one piece to save time off the programme, which has allowed us to get ready for the commissioning to start, where we'll break through from this shaft into the Lee Tunnel and make the final connection. Today's lift is going to be the biggest lift that Tideway have carried out across all the project, bigger than some of the tunnel boring machine lifts. I suppose it's a D-Day at Abbey Mills today. The gantry's ready to go. A couple of years of planning, six months for the construction of the cover slab. The last two months we were building the big blue lifting gantry behind us. A slab weighing 1,200 tonnes is not something that we do every day and has taken years of planning and weeks of preparation to get to this point of having a, a one day lift. The first stage is to lift the whole slab up. It's quite a complicated endeavour. There are multiple strand jacks, there are different loads in each of them. So the team has to make sure everything goes according to the plan. Once that is um, secured, the slab will move approximately 30 metres towards us and then it will be lowered down on the shaft. We have the honour in supplying experienced personnel to conduct the operation safely and efficiently. There's an extended team on site today, so we've got a survey team and a design team. So if we do find that something's not as per plan, we can tackle the issues on site and ideally proceed with the lift. As it's lifted, they're monitoring the forces in all of the strand jacks, these eight points that we're lifting from. And we have provided those forces from our predicted computer models to the contracting team here and predicting these might not be perfect and we're here so that if as they lift they're getting different results we can help them interpret that. The original precast modular form of the cover slab was going to take too long to build in situ after the delays of the project because of Covid and so forth so we're now trying to um, save some time off the project and this slab has been cast in one go and will be lifted and put into place to save something like six to eight weeks off the programme. Once the cover slab is installed at Abbey Mills, there's a bit of work to do with getting the shaft airtight. So we've got to do a bit of grouting and doing the final touches on the cover slab. After that, we need to remove the bulkhead inside the shaft F, which is part of the, the Tideway and Thames water outage, which will then enable the, the Tideway tunnels to be commissioned and put into use. It's fantastic being here, seeing the whole slab being lifted, hearing the cracking of the formwork, and then finding out that the load's very, very close to our predictions is really good. We've had a bit of extra excitement this morning with the BBC on site doing a live broadcast. This is not something that happens every day. This is to mark up our fantastic milestone. We are really proud as a hideaway to, to achieve that. A massive achievement for all the teams involved. A big relief having the slab in place. Capping off the shaft starts to bring an end to the, the Tideway project at Abbey Mills. However, the final milestone will be in a couple of weeks when we prepare to break out the shaft death wall, which is the separation between the Tideway and the Lee Tunnel.